hello, hello, and hello, my brothers and sisters. This is Brother West. I have a, uh, I have a message that I wanted to, um, that I want to just drop in your ears, drop in your hearing, right quick. Something that's gonna really uh, help you. Something that's gonna really give you understanding concerning the stage that you're at in your life. And see, the thing about it, we grow from faith to faith and glory to glory. So there, there are stages that we grow through, that we grow through and we grow to, to get to a certain place, to get to a certain awareness, if I can say that. Before I get to the message, I will say this. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do it this time. But also, if I've said or if I will say, if I, if I will say anything that has or will encourage you, please share the message please share the message and so basically what i want to talk about is a it's a fruit of the spirit that we all need as believers something that god has given and the purpose of god giving it is to help us to balance our lives to help us to understand some things to to lead us and guide us to give us awareness to give us insight and that fruit that i'm talking about is temperance you can also use self-control, temperance or self-control. There's a scripture in Proverbs says that a person who's able to uh, rule their spirit is stronger than the mighty in the city. It's very important to be able to learn how to rule your spirit. Meaning, what I mean by that is knowing how to, to, to manage situations, to balance certain things. What it comes down to is uh, what it comes down to is learning how to um, learning how to um, uh, deal with certain things, learning how to process certain things, learning how to bear certain things, learning how to overlook certain things, and you know it's like it's like you're picking your spots. You're not picking every spot, but you're picking certain spots. Uh, you know, you don't fight every battle. Uh, you choose your battles. And so it's a process. It's a process. And, you know, um, this is where many of you are at. And in the process of where you are now, uh, you were uh, at maybe five years ago, 10 years ago, the thing that you once did, the thing that you once thought, the place that you once went, you don't go to places no more because you've been given more understanding. You've been given more wisdom. And the, the, I guess in some ways, the unfortunate thing, fortunate and unfortunate thing is that it came through your suffering. It came through uh, your pain, your disappointments. Even Solomon said in Ecclesiastes, uh, uh, in knowledge, there's much sorrow and in wisdom, there's much grief. And so in order to get certain things in life and from God, there's going to come some conflict. There's going to come some pain. There's going to come some disappointments. There's going to come some rejections. There's going to come some hurts. But in the midst of all of that, what's happening, if you're able to bear, that's what it comes down to, to be able to bear, to be able to handle, to be able to, uh, another word is uh, 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 learn how to deal with, learn how to accept, learn how to be patient with, and see, this is what God wants us to do in, in, in life, certain areas in our life. God wants us to learn how to be patient. Just like God has been patient with us in so many areas. God wants us to learn how to become patient in situations in our life. Learn how to be patient with people, circumstances, situations. Because eventually those things are going to uh, be removed. They're going to uh, uh, find themselves uh, leaving. That's just like with football, with football with a quarterback and a receiver. When the quarterback and the receiver calls a certain play, when that quarterback drops back, that quarterback is waiting for the play to develop. He's waiting for that receiver to make a certain move. And once that receiver makes a certain move, then that quarterback is going to throw the ball in a certain spot. And in the timing of it, that receiver is going to be in that place to catch the ball. The same thing when it comes to life. Uh, there's a certain so as I was saying there's a certain timing there's a certain timetable there's a certain process 
and it, it takes it takes it takes um, management. Learn how to manage. Learn how to manage things. Learn how to manage time. Learn how to manage situations. And so that's what that's what that's what it comes down to. God uh, is teaching many of you how to manage things. How to manage your emotions, how to manage your relationship, how to manage your heart, how to manage things, how to manage time. And so in, in, in that management of time, God is teaching you patience. Patience. He's teaching patience. And, and see, see this even scripture says tribulations, trials and tribulations work of patience. See, this is the place where God wants you to be is to be patient. See, because when you're rushing, you'll miss a whole lot. But when you're patient and just sit there and watch things develop. And see, and this is what God wants you to do. God wants you to be patient and sit there and watch things develop. The scripture says to watch as well as pray. And so these are some of the words that God has put in my heart this morning. Patience, self-control, management, learning how to bear learning how to uh, become familiar with certain things that way you're able to deal with them becoming familiar with it just like with lifting weights the more you lift weights the more you become familiar with the weights then the weights become not as heavy and so the same thing with life when you're carrying so many things when you're facing things the more you're able to feel it the more you're able to touch it the more you're able to think about it then God will give you the understanding on how to manage it and so this is the word this morning is to know how to manage, manage your emotions, manage your spirit, manage situations, uh, manage things around you. That way, God will get the total glory out of your life and out of that situation. Is that all right? God bless you.